morning everyone welcome here in Switzerland not in Geneva and I do have the pleasure today aboard this old brand new A6 2019 uh, completely new look new design new everything in Valais de Joux if I say it good <laughs> uh, just on the mountains as you can see I do have snow um, and everything is just so perfect so I just bring the car here because the A6 uh, it's also a Quattro so it's the perfect conditions for test it also very quickly even if I don't really have it that much like with the Range Rover but yeah we just can see how the car works here in the snow and yeah without waiting let's go and let's discover this old brand new A6 here in the mountains on the road here we go aboard this A6 2019 uh, the preview previously when I tested technically the last time the kind of an A6 version or an A6 category from Audi it was two years ago and it wasn't any A6 it was the RS6 with the 4 liter V8 of 600 horsepower but now two years later I can spot this massive difference and everything what Audi has done and everything what Audi has modified it and updated with these old brand new categories it can be the A6, the A4, the Q8, the A8 you have this all and every uh, categories from Audi that has been changed um, so that's wonderful and you can see and feel this all Audi DNA in every single model that you can take from Audi it can go from the all new A8 A1 sorry to the to the R8 to the Q8 um, and uh, Q7 that is going to be modified it as well but this all new 2019 A6 is just wonderful I'm currently driving the 3 liter V6 it's a bi-turbo engine and from now for this year because we are at the end of 2018 for this year you have these three uh, categories for the motorization that is on the front for of course except on the R8 uh, you do have the 40 TDI 45 and 50 TDI so the engine that I'm currently have is the 45 TDI of uh, 231 horsepower that I'm going to show you uh, with 500 newton meters of torque uh, what is for now really a lot for a 3 liter V6 knowing that the car is pretty heavy as well and um, but it's just feeling so great on the road and from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour it's only, well, I mean, for that power and for that kind of car who is very long, is 6.5 seconds to go from 0 to 100. What well, is pretty quick and uh, pretty fast as well. Uh, also, that I've got on this Q8 as well, the key, uh, that's the key, here it is. Uh, has been changed, now you have this version of the key, like pretty long and it was exactly for the Q8 that I've got so this is like this even the key has been modified it uh, just by the way and yeah starting from the exterior you do have this old brand new front bumper and all this front of the car that has been changed and modified it uh, starting with the LED lights uh, it's kind of matrix lights because the, the lights are like adapting on the road like previously yesterday evening I was driving on the road and when you turn the lights are following where you are going and when the curve that you're taking so that's pretty great it lights it likes it lights up the whole road and that's pretty fantastic uh, you do have the new shape of the the lights you do have this kind of 
new design of the standard LEDs for adaptive for the day that you are using for the daily and for the night it's also adapted when you put the turn signal you do have like this kind of wave who is lighting just like that uh, the grill the grill is pretty big also by the way so that's uh, adds more volume like kind of 3d shape it's fully black and I do love the spec of that car because it's fully black from outside and fully black inside as well you do have these tinted windows even the all around the windows is like fully black as well so like black spec and all um, that's from for the front bumper the car has as well the S line so a better and more luxurious line for the car that I'm driving currently knowing that the car has over like literally over 30,000 Swiss francs of options what is absolutely huge and a lot knowing that that the standard version starts pretty expensive around 80 90 thousand Swiss francs and when you add this all and full options to the car it's really really a lot so yeah 20 inches rims it's almost the same ones that I've got on the RS6 just going back to the RS6 and it was exactly the same uh, rims the 20 inches ones that I've got on the um, SQ7 that I've tested previously like a few months ago uh, in summer it was I think so uh, it's beautiful 20 inches that are also matching and who are like adapted on this old brand new A6 so that's pretty great you have this massive line all black and uh, the car is pretty long so if you black if you put the old black spec it's gonna be like kind of more longer and if you put like more black rims it's gonna be like more huger as well so that's pretty pretty great going back to the rear of the car who is also nice modified it and nicely how to say nicely adaptive with all this brand new te technology this old red LED lights who are ch who has been who have been changed as well and absolutely great adapted for this car and you have the wave when it puts the turn signal of course a huge and massive thank to Audi Amagnon is obviously uh, giving me this old brand new Audi A6 for that I can present it to you guys so don't hesitate to tell me what you think about this everything also for the next year we're gonna have uh, now we have diesel for this year but for the next year we're gonna have as well the, the normal gas engines with a 3 liter V6 as well as on the Q8 that is going to arrive uh, for the next of the beginning of the 2019 year probably we may be going to have something at uh, the Geneva's Motor Show as well so I'm obviously maybe going to present you to show you something what we gotta have and yeah now about the inside what I do love on this car is all this brand new entertainment system that I have uh, exactly the same one that I really love and that's a huge step for Audi as well about this old electronic features system inside of the car is all these three screens uh, that are just with one touch you can do a lot of things you do have this massive display and this whole entertainment system like for example this 12.3 inches in the front also this maybe also 12 inches around a uh, huge screen just here when you have the navigations and here for the climate control only and climate control here the the third screen who is just on the bottom and that's pretty great you do have you do have as well the new uh, gear selector with these two kind of cup holders just right here oh, that's pretty beautiful um, yeah and uh, you do have this S line on the steering wheel uh, I have the exactly same steering wheel that on the Q7 the Q8 sorry as well also this you can see kind of same things who 
who are adapted and appropriate for each um, each version of the car and each class of the car so that's pretty great you do have this quattro logo that is illuminated on the in the night very nice with this glass piano black in the front for the dashboard and uh, going back to the rear you do have this new design for the seats as well and you do have this, this um, kind of you do have stitching and with different shapes uh, for the back seats and on the front seats that's pretty nice so you can see the new shape I've got uh, the same ones that on the Q8 exact the exact uh, same specs and uh, so that's also pretty nice with all this kind of stitching that you can choose the colors as well uh, what I do love a lot here in this Audi is uh, this massive panoramic sunroof that is not in one piece but it's like separated in the middle, so that's pretty nice. And yeah, you have this kind of kind of two glasses, what are great. The changement that I can notice from the previous generation of Audis to this generation that I'm now driving, the 2019 version, is that the Comfort is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I've got the RS6, maybe the suspension were different. But now when you're driving, even when you accelerate, the car grips you like right now instantly. Braking system, braking system great when you put on the dynamic mode, obviously uh, it's more harder for the steering wheel, the suspension, but in general, you just are flooding. Like it's literally a boat and you don't feel any bump on the road or any walls or something else that can um, makes you feel unhappy but here it's literally you are flooding you don't feel absolutely anything and the steering wheel everything is like so smooth literally for journeys long trips I don't know how many hours you can sit into the car it's going to be just so perfectly adapted also a lot of options into the car, into this car as I told you few options that I, I can say that I, I can show you for example you have this night vision great to the cameras the 360 degrees all around the camera and the head of display who is now kind of standard uh, in all this premier car and for the premier versions that you can choose so yeah, I hope that you really appreciated the car, uh, the review and everything that I'm doing here on the mountain. So what is pretty great. Uh, thank you guys really for watching all the vlogs that I'm doing. Don't hesitate to say me what you think about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you even haven't done it yet. For stay tuned for plenty more videos who are going to come. So yeah, thank you so much. Have a very great day. And as well, as always, uh, see you for the next time. Have a great day. Bye.